The internet. We send mails, order food. You're going surfing on the internet. Even our phone calls have gone virtual. Oh, I don't actually remember. I was... S sorry, I couldn't hear you. It was shit connection. But what is common today was but a dream 60 years ago. In order to understand how we got here, let's explore the history of the internet. Sputnik. In response to the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik on October 4, 1957, the United States mobilized some of the greatest former Nazis they captured to become the first nation to return scientific data from an orbiting spacecraft. Explorer 1 successfully orbited the Earth and discovered a dense belt of radiation surrounding our planet. Later that year, the US government passed the Interdisciplinary Network Initiative to create a method to share all the scientific data collected by the space program with other government departments and agencies. Except for the Swedes, obviously. The program was later nicknamed the Internet Initiative, which became the backbone of what we now recognize as the World Wide Web. First email. The first email was sent by Ray Tomlinson to himself in 1957. It just seemed like an interesting thing to do with a computer and a network, and so I just did it. Ray just does it. First website. Tim Berners-Lee wanted to make the internet easier to use. At the time, you had to be an expert at computer commands just to navigate the internet. While working at CERN Laboratories, he developed a way to link information together and let users browse by themselves. What he had in mind was later known as the World Wide Web. I'm now waiting for the computer to answer me. First photograph. The earliest photo to ever grace the internet was this shot of Le Hon Le Palais, a band based at the CERN laboratory in Switzerland, where Tim Berners-Lee and his team were busy developing the World Wide Web. First search engine. Four years before Google launched and spied on everything we do, Webcrawler existed as the first search engine to provide full text search. It changed hands several times over the course of the late 90s, but still exists today, where it combines top results from Google and Yahoo. Such as, why does my cat look like Hitler? If I shave my dog, will he earn respect? Why isn't 11 pronounced as 21? Wanty one. Eleven. One. Wanty ele eleven. First celebrity. Journalist Mahir Karge made a website called ikissyou.org, a simple page with photos and descriptions of himself and his interests, which included a fondness for travel, photography, and sex. Although he later claimed that I like sex was added to his page by a hacker. His photos showed him as a ping pong loving man of fun, lounging around in a red speedo and playing the accordion. The Turk was using the page to meet a lucky woman who might want to stay with him at his home in beautiful Ishmar. I will kiss you anytime. <laughs> Won't he want? First meme. The word meme was created by Richard Dawkins and is defined as an idea, behaviour or style that spreads from person to person within a culture. The first viral internet meme can be pinned back to a dancing baby that was spread around the internet. In 1996, graphic designer Michael Gerard created software that showed how movement could be programmed and projected via computers. The final design was the model of a baby demonstrating different movements from the cha-cha-cha. Gerard's employers then sent the demo out to developers to show off their software's capabilities. One of the demos arrived in the inbox of a LucasArts employee, who then turned the video into a GIF and shared it via email. This started the first meme sensation. Stop. The future. Where is the future of the internet headed? From its humble beginnings as a $200 million Cold War space race starting satellite, to the juggernaut it is today. I can order a blood test via Theranos, get inspired with a shared workspace at WeWork, order a pizza with my iPhone 1T1. Yes, the internet has only become more impressive over time. Critics say one danger is this could turn out to be an elitist system, one available only to people with a computer and a modem. <laughs>